Hello and welcome back. Today let's look into another interesting use case on healthcare. For this use case, we have taken breast cancer data set. Here, the class says whether the particular person has cancer or not. And we have various other features as well like degree of malignancy, menopause, etc. We have also framed few questions. Let's solve them one by one. Without any further ado, let's move on to the first question. Do women after menopause have higher chances of getting cancer? To answer this question, let's run a classification model on this data set. So I am choosing class as my dependent variable and rest of the other features as my independent variable. I am choosing the header because I am including all the headers here. And I am setting the cross validation fold to 2 which means 20% of the data will be used to test. So I am clicking on classify. Yes, we got the result here. And as you can see from the result, we could see that menopause has neutral or zero importance. Hence, we can conclude that pre or post menopause does not play an important role. Moving on to the next question. Is there a relationship between breast quadrant where the tumor is located and the degree of malignancy? For this, we have considered the required features and the quadrant is also being encoded. We can see the values here. So let's carry out Spearman's rank correlation. So I'm choosing the X and Y axis. So let me uh, select and I'm choosing the Y axis as well. Let me click on test. So we got the summary which says that it is probably independent. Hence, we can conclude that there is no relation between the degree of malignancy and the quadrant. Moving forward to our last question. How does the presence of node caps affect the malignancy of a tumor? So here we are running a regression model where the degree of malignancy will be our dependent variable and rest of the other features will be our independent variables. Let's select the range. Yes, and I'm also checking this header checkbox. And again, I'm selecting the cross validation fold as 2, which means we are using 20% of a data set to test the values. Let me click on predict. We have got the results. So from the result, we can see that node cap has a significant importance on predicting the malignancy as we know. So there you go. With the help of predict TC, we came up with meaningful insights. So let's see what you can do with it.